Hi, Mark Camotio, Gunmark TV. <clears throat> and we've got here a classic air rifle, and it's sort of it's a real product of its time. Beautiful finish, it's in great condition. This is the Webley Tracker. And uh, these were produced apparently from 1982 through to 2000. Bit of background info, but that it, it's a side lever design. So you've got a, um, a side lever there that you're gonna use to cock it. Spring piston, power plant, and of course it's a tap loader. And these were popular, you know, sort of popularized by the um, BSA Air Sporter and um, various other air guns. But yeah, th this is, uh, this was Webley's version. My dad had the Webley Osprey, uh, which was a, a very sleek sort of sporter. He had it in walnut, lovely sleek walnut stock. And it was all a bit longer than this, full length barrel. Uh, but it was a weedy rifle. It only ever did about nine foot pound, I think. And obviously I had the Vulcan as my first one. But Webley were known for firstly very good finish. Chemical bluing was a speciality. They etched the name into the cylinder, so you've got Webley Tracker here, it's actually cut into the cylinder. And um, this one's missing its open sights, it would have come, that's, a, that's not as standard, that is like an adapter there, but it would have come with open sights, that's all that's missing with this. I remember they produced for a while little metal name plates with Webley that you could buy as a, a little a retrofit to, to blank off that area. This one is um, this is kindly lent from Range and Country, which is a big dealer in um, Sleaford, and this is this is I say second hand. This is going for. Um, £295 at the moment. Um, if you're a collector of air guns, then yeah, it's a, it's a very desirable air gun. When they brought this out, they brought out the Tracker, which is, as you can see, really short, very compact sporting rifle. This was then going to, it was a bit like the Osprey, but it was pushing the power limit. So this, I think these were doing around about the 11 foot pounds. And you had the Tracker, which is the short one, and then they did a longer version, which was much the same. It may have had a slightly longer stock, I can't quite remember. Same configuration, that very appealing wedge shape. I really like that. And it had the Tracker was a full length, uh, the Viscount rather was the full length version, full length barrel version. But uh, yeah, it's, it's um, and you've got the sort of classic period piece with a white line spacer on the butt pad there, white line um, spacer on the pistol grip cap. It's beech, the wood, but they always gave it that sort of honey thick um, varnish finish, but it's just very appealing and you can see the you know the quality of it and the robustness and the, um, the it, it looks well made this is from the, the sort of Webley's Birmingham days uh, very nice I'll just put a couple of shots through to show you the mechanism so you, it's side lever so again secure mounting pull that all the way back you can hear the ratchet inside there's an internal ratchet which is the uh, safety like anti bear trap system so you've got a spring loaded catch on the on the end of the catch there push that back lock that up and then you can lift the tap up and drop your pellet in now I mean tap loaders you don't tend to get them now because the system is flawed really you can see that dropped all the way through but if sometimes you it would if you had a, um, a tap out of that was sort of misaligned it would slightly shear off some of the pellet you're unlikely to get it with ease but you know some models would that would be a problem um, so, and we sort of moved on since then, but it, you can feel the, that's still very tight in that breech, which is something you'd look for in a second hand model. I've got to say, this feels like someone's had this in the cabinet and not done a lot. For, for safety, I'll just fire this off. Yeah, it, it's, it's all feeling good as well. Not much resonance there and um, quite a nice snap to the, to the shot cycle. But yeah, it's a beautiful little rifle and um, bit of a period piece really but that's the Webley Trekker.